But if you put anything else, that's like, this is receipt. I feel so good in person, though. Ooh. We gotta go our separate ways I've been trapping all week Feel like I haven't slept in days He ain't never learned his lesson Niggas stuck up in his ways He been dried up in the water Trying to ride a nigga away I've been running through the streets Feel like I'll never be the same Did it to myself I guess I ain't the one to blame Only wanted money I forgot it came from fame What's good YouTube? It's your girl Dimple Juice What's up? Okay, so I just finished eating Um, I finished it Close up to the cheese Cause you know them dimples deep First of all, if y'all new here Welcome to the vibe And if you been here Keep on vibing so y'all today, um, we are doing another bag review slash unboxing. We are doing Marc Jacobs tote bags, y'all. So in love with the brand. And I'm in love with bags in general, y'all. Y'all already know how I am when it comes to freaking purses, tote bags, all that good stuff. First of all, the bags came in some really big boxes. Um, I'm guessing this is the medium one this is just a medium one and it's a pretty big box as you can see um, yeah but we're just gonna get into it y'all so i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut along the tape yeah i'm so excited like i'm literally obsessed with purses like you know mark jenkins they don't be letting nobody know that they drop stuff and luckily i seen it when they put it on the page and it's probably still on there now i don't know so first of all, it already looks cool inside. It's like yellow, yellow on the inside. Wow, that's cool. I've never seen a package box like this. First of all, these are my first ever Marc Jacobs bag that I ever owned, and I never knew how to package it was. So first, they hit you with a Marc Jacobs little label on the box, which is pretty neat. Something right here, something right here. It says Marc Jacobs. Um, okay, this looks like the receipt. So the receipt telling you everything you order and stuff like that. I'm gonna take the bag out. I did order the medium. So we're gonna go ahead and open. Y'all, I'm loving it so far. It's so freaky. Like this color is everything. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, and it's a medium, y'all, which is a really decent size. So a little Marc Jacobs logo, the tote bag, Marc Jacobs, and then back. Um, you know, says the style, his name, location, and year. Wow, this is so freaking gorgeous, y'all. So it is a tote, and then it comes with this strap. The cute little crossbody strap. I love pink, y'all. Just started back loving pink so much. And it got these little hooks. Hooks on the inside. You hook it. Put the crossbody strap. And my son's crying, y'all. Okay, I'm back, y'all. But like I was saying, the strap. Let's see. I like, it's like the small details. Like, it even says Marc Jacobs. Like, so many details, y'all. This is terry material, be like some type of cotton. So before you open it, this is what it looked like. It got a nice cute little zipper. I don't know if this little black piece supposed to come off, but we are gonna figure it out later. But when you open it, uh, let's see what's on the inside. Uh, oh, they gave me a, what's this? It's a little baggy. And you can't pull it like this. They gave me this. This is on the inside of the bag. So I usually put your bag inside of it, you know, just in case you don't want to get messed up. That's pretty cool. Back on the inside, they have this little moisture packet in here. And voila! A little lint. So on the inside, you got the, you know, Marc Jacobs uh, label. And then what's the purse without us? The inner zipper. Yeah, what's the purse without the inner zipper? And there's something on the inside. Oh, here it is. It tell you all the uh, materials they use. A lot of the unique materials going on. What is that on the camera? There's something on the lens. Wait, I'm not tripping. 
I don't know what that little smudge is, but um, that's pretty neat. I like how they give you uh, all the details and stuff about the uh, bag. Put more to that later, because we still got another uh, box to open. But yes, y'all, I freaking love this bag so much already. Just the uh, style of it, the color, like all together. Again, I didn't even realize the medium, it's like a really big size. So that freaking, the large is about to be so big, y'all. Stand back, y'all. Move the freaking stupid chair out of the way. This is the large tote bag box. This is the size of it, so as you can see. Hey. But this is probably going to be the biggest tote bag I ever bought that I own. Here it comes, y'all. What's looking like, y'all? Yeah, it's the same thing as the other one we just opened. Um, the receipt here. The bag itself. You know, Mark Jacobs uh, label. Yeah, those boxes are pretty big. I had no idea that um, they packaged the uh, bags like this. So this was going to be like my main bag that I would like to carry. Like I'm using this camera bag, you know, my on the go bag. I specifically got black because I love black and, you know, goes away almost everything. And I got large because, you know, I really just want to get large and hold a lot of stuff. So I'm going to be able to put so much stuff in this bag. Like it's going to be here. Okay. Oh my God, look at it, y'all. This is the large, y'all the large tote bag y'all oh i'm so excited y'all <laughs> y'all just don't know like i don't know if it's just me but, or like i don't know if all girls like but me y'all i just love purses let me start talking y'all and let's get into the details okay this bag is a lot different so i had no idea the inside of the bag so first of all this is what the inside look like of course it has a zipper uh you know close the bag so it's just like the other one but just different material and when you look inside it got this little moisture pack and then uh you know got the little more jacobs label right here but what's really cool it got these little pocket things right here it's but it's like on hang, hanging off like a little flap and then it has the inside zipper right here you know to store your little personal items or whatever items and then boom we got the uh, details of what kind of material this is so we're going to take a look at that in a moment a little small detail of this little uh, inside lining part i don't know if y'all can see it but i like how they got this little part in right there that's pretty uh that's cute my husband said he don't like this bag because it looks plain but i got a little something for y'all that i'm gonna do with this bag I'm going to decorate it, but that's going to be a whole other video, y'all. I'm going to decorate um, my bag with, you know, uh, what they call it? Patches. I'm going to put some patches on here, y'all. It's going to be so cute. Like, just wait till we, you know, doll this bag up because it's going to be my main, you know, on the go type of bag. So, yes. So, this is how it looks. This is how big it looks. I don't know why I thought it was going to be way bigger than this for some reason, but um, it's actually a really decent size. And if you compare it to the medium like both is a decent size it's just this one is a little a little bigger look you can't argue with both like this i can fit my ipad in here you could probably fit a freaking macbook in here so this is big enough you know but if you want to be extra like me this is like a big way big enough like perfect for like everything now we're going to check the now we're gonna check the uh, materials and uh, honestly i did not expect the um inside you know to be that type of material it's almost like a you know rubbery type material but it's nothing i'm complaining about because if you spill something on the inside it'll be like a easy little cleanup so i i like that because if you spill something in your purse which i have done plenty of times it'll be an easy little um cleanup okay so the body 100% cotton, the trim, 54% polyurethane, 40% uh, terrilene. I don't know how to say that. I'm going to show y'all. Y'all get, get the idea when I show y'all. What is that on the lens? I'm sorry. What is? I don't know what this black thing is on my lens. I'm sorry about whatever that is. Details. If y'all really want to know the details of this um, bag, the materials, 
here it is right there and then the other bag i had showed that for y'all but um yeah i don't know what this on is on my lens this is not my regular lens i use to film this is a 30 millimeter uh, lens y'all probably don't really care but yeah i don't know what that little smudge is on there so sorry about that well before i give my uh review of what i think overall uh i noticed with this bag it doesn't it don't come with one of these, which I'm not about to argue over. Like, I really don't care. Um, it's cool that it came with that one. Maybe because the material is more, you know, like, uh, fine, like, more more fine material. So, if y'all want to protect that bag with that, this is y'all that little bag. Put it in. But, yeah, this bag, it, don't, it didn't come with that, which is completely fine. But, yeah, it does come with, you know, the little zipper. And we're going to do that. And that's what it looks like when it's zipped up. And you can tuck this in. Leave it out however you want to do it. And this is pretty neat. I ain't gonna lie. I know a lot of people have opinions like, oh, they'll think it's like, you know, plain. Like I said in my other video, simple goes a long way. What I like about, you know, these fine brands and stuff is that when they do make something, they, you know, make it really neat and like add, you know, small, cool, like details and stuff. So I would have never known, you know, the inside of this bag, you know, had the little pouches and stuff in it and all that. And I never knew the inside was like, you know, that type of rubber material. I don't know if I showed you the back, but it's the same as the uh, other bag. And yes, there you have it. So yes, I'm going to give my final review on both. Like I said, I just started loving, loving pink. I used to like pink when I was little. And I stopped liking it, and then I'm back loving it. I ain't going to say I stopped liking it, but black always been my favorite color. I just love the color of this bag and then I like how they did a different type of pink on this part the unlabeled and then this part is uh it's the same uh it says his name but it's like the same uh, color as like the bag itself kind of like the same color as this part I'm in love I'm in love like I said I'm in love with bags in general but yeah I'm gonna bring the camera back down full review on these gorgeous bags y'all 10 out of 10 both um especially this one this is most definitely probably gonna be my favorite one but i honestly even though this is not much going on i still really really love this one though it's like because i love black so i really love this one and i know i'm gonna love it even more when i put some patches on it so that's gonna be like so lit y'all just wait tune in make sure y'all stay tuned for that and we're gonna doll this bad boy up okay the quality it feels really durable like especially this one and this one seems really durable too. I like how thick the straps is. And then I like how thick, you know, these is. So you don't really gotta worry about it like tearing or anything. You'll have to own this probably for like years and years and years for it to probably start to wear down. But I mean, I feel like barely, you know, if you take good care of your stuff, it's all about, you know, taking good care of your stuff. So I take care, good care of my stuff. So I know that's not really gonna be a problem for me. Um, I don't remember all the material cause I didn't even, I didn't even know they had that many different materials on uh, each bag. So I can't remember it from top of my head, but yeah. Mark Jacobs, y'all. Mark Jacobs, that's, that's my review. Like I said, I wasn't trying to make this video too long. It was just a little unboxing and first looks but for me because, you know, these are my first ever Marc Jacobs bags I own. So these most definitely will be getting used, y'all. These are not going to be sitting on the shelf like for a long time. Both of these are going to get used. Oh, and this is a, a, a adjustable. I'm pretty sure you realize this is adjustable, but I love that little feature. And I love the, I love the, uh, you can tell this is silk too. It's like a little silk type of fabric because they did uh, mention this type of fabric for the strap on the little card. But yeah, obviously you could tell this is like a soft material. Almost like a soft little seat belt, but like, you know, not as rough as a seat belt. And then this part, yeah, it's adjustable. So yeah, I kind of like where it is right now. Well, I'm, if I do it, you know, across my body, I eventually, you know, adjust or whatever. But for now, we're going to leave it how it is. Like, yes, 10 out of 10 reviews for me. A lot of jewelry I was doing. More into details, you know, than the other uh, video. If you haven't checked out my Telfer bags unboxing, I have that on my channel. Go take a look at that. I hope I haven't really left out any specific details. Not much to say. Uh, if you see the bag, and then they give you the details on the cards and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video right there, y'all. I hope y'all really enjoyed this 
video. Yes, I have been consistent with the uploading, so I most definitely will have another video soon. And yeah, if y'all enjoy these little um, bag unboxing videos, then let me know. I'm going to try not to go too crazy with buying bags because I already have like a lot. And I don't want to, you know, be too, too crazy on it. But yeah, um, yeah, uh, this was very fun. Oh, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you back here again. I'm going to see y'all next time, okay? Bye, be soon as we can feel. Peace. For the people that think y'all stuff like, this is receipt. Looks so good in person, though. Ooh.